I'm back with another game day life vlog. This time we're going on the road. You know, I gotta grab my stuff, grab my coffee, turn off the lights, save some energy, and we are out the door. Even on travel days, we gotta get our work in. So we're gonna have practice before you head on the bus. Practice is at 10.30, you wanna get there around 9.45. Yes, I know the car needs an oil change. I get to the gym, you know, I'm all smiles. You gotta have fun with it or else what's the point? You got a good practice, getting all caught up on the other team's sets and personnel. What a day. After lunch, it's time to get on the bus. As you can see, our bus is kind of fire. Let's go baskets, let's go. You don't wanna go first? You avoid the vlog at all times. <laughs> To start the trip, you know, I gotta get on the game ready. Gotta make sure my knees are feeling good for the game. As you can see, it's a beautiful day. It makes it so much more enjoyable to go on long bus rides. For some reason, these windmills in Germany absolutely fascinate me. They're ginormous. Here's my sad attempt at fake sleeping. And you know, on a sandwich, wasn't even hungry. Just kind of bored. Read a book, looked at the scenery. Of course, got stuck in traffic. Watched some Vikings on Netflix. This is like five or six hours in the bus ride. Man, I'm tired, but. Eight hours later and we finally made it. That's the life of uh, the BBL trips when we live in the north of Germany. We stayed at the Leonardo Hotel. It actually wasn't that bad. Apparently it's a chain in Europe, but the room wasn't bad. The beds weren't right next to each other, so I'm not complaining. We made it to Heidelberg. It was like an eight hour bus ride. We got stuck in traffic. It was only supposed to be five and a half. Got stuck in traffic. It's, it's a Friday. We just got to get used to this and get our rest. But brush my teeth and I am asleep. Now it's officially game day. Had to get a nice hearty breakfast. Made sure to take some time to chill out, get my coffee, read a book. Just, just find that morning peace. After breakfast, we had some film and then we were on our way to shoot around. This is the first look at the outside of the gym. It's called the SNP Dome. It's honestly a really solid arena. I think it holds around three to 4,000, but it's nice. That's a good clip right there, TJ. Gang, gang. Today we're out in Germany. <laughs> what socks are these? I don't know. <laughs> I didn't even have a guess. Well, what, what you got for us, Cap? Yo, what's up, Trey Bones? <laughs> Boy, Max, make sure you hit the subscribe button and smash that like button. <laughs> Here's a sneak peek at the locker room with all our jerseys. Courtesies of Big Mark. Let's go, Appreciate Paris. it, bro. Game time. After a shoot around, it was straight to team lunch. Our strength coach makes sure it's only the most healthy, nutritious food. So as you can see, no desserts, no cakes, no none of that. Hey, that is nice. Of course, had to get the pregame nap in. Pregame coffee before the big game. Flight 8.30, should be a good game. We got a really good point guard. We got to slow down. Some wings that are solid shooters and a nice pick and pop five minutes. Like culmination of what a road trip looks like in a, in the BBL. Man. Eight hour bus ride, chill the whole next day, kind of do the game day routine, culmination at 8.30. Spielendste Mannschaft der Liga gegen die Oldenburger. Eine besondere Herausforderung, Reisebade, weil sie so viel Druck auf die aufbauenden Spieler der Gäste ist alles andere als einfach. Nicht nur besser werden und das auch ein ganz wichtiger Faktor, die Punkte in der Zone, die hohen Quoten und vor allem die Anzahl der Punkte. Ja, Russell gegen Washington. 
Drexel mit dem Crossover, der mit der Distanz passt von Drexel. Tja, es sind die beiden Kandidaten auf Oldenburger Seite. Die beiden spielen sich die Bälle zu. Tolle Ballbewegung, toll herausgespielter Wurf. Und das ist wieder Drexel! Ja, nochmal eigentlich das echt herausgespielter Dreier. Und da angeflogen. Stoppt das Ding rein. Stark von Drexel. Russell nennt erstmal die Uhr. So, da ist der Switch. Jetzt hat Ukrai gegen Russell natürlich den schwierigen Stand, den verteidigen zu müssen. Russell zieht zum Korb. Russell trifft ihn! Da trifft er das ganze Spiel. Keinen Floater. Alle erwarten seinen Stepback-Dreier. Und dann macht er den. Bleibt das bei den 0? All right, it's been about five, six days since the Heidelberg game. Judging from the clips you saw, you probably thought we won. The film that I was cutting up, it actually didn't have the very last play on it. It like skipped and it looks funky because the dude actually hit like a shot right in my face, but I, I would have shown it, but just don't have it. Yeah, and we ended up getting in foul trouble in overtime and, and blew that one. It was a tough game. It's weird because like, I want to share the, the true reality of kind of the playing basketball overseas and uh, just a tough game for me, especially defensively. Offensively, I was solid, but defensively, I just didn't really run the system well. And yeah, I just want to be transparent. Not every game is going to be your best game, but the things you can't control should be controlled every game. And so I take ownership for that last game and we'll be better next game. And the good thing is we got a game in a couple of days. We play Frankfurt. Then we get a little fever break, and then my family comes. So we're gonna keep pushing, keep getting better each day. Yeah, appreciate y'all for tuning in. Just want to give y'all a little update on what actually happened in that game, like what how it kind of ended. So.